Hello guys and welcome to another video. Um, unfortunately, we are gathered here today to get offended, basically, because today we're going to be looking at Goodreads reviews for the Percy Jackson series. Now, I'm only going to stick to those five books in that series, so if you want to watch me do it for another Rick Riordan series, please let me know down below and I will consider it. Now, this video is actually inspired by one of you guys, so thank you. Feel free to always leave suggestions, video suggestions down in the comments, I appreciate them. I might not always do them because I get a lot of them and because I also have my own ideas, I know, crazy. But yeah, I appreciate it and I'd love to see them, so without further ado, let's get into it. Also, I forgot to mention this just now, but it's not just like normal reviews of the books, it's one star reviews, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with, obviously, The Lightning Thief, and we're already here in Goodreads and one comment <laughs> just caught my attention. Okay, let's go. Uh, this is from Sarah. Okay, let's see what Sarah had to say. Was forced to read this lame American ripoff of Harry Potter for my children's lit course. Almost everything about it irritated me deeply. The cheesy humor, Percy's effortless awesomeness, and lack of any actual character depth or personality. The concept of inborn knowledge like understanding ancient Greek and the constant info dumps from other characters explaining things to Percy. Like that doesn't happen in Harry Potter. And Percy's smelly stepdad Gabe's surname is Ugliano. Oh yes, very subtle. Um, ma'am, this is a children's book. It's not supposed to be subtle, it's supposed to be funny, okay? I wanted to get a pen and paper out and start a running tally of the obvious Harry Potter reference. I won't list them because there's too many to count, but my favorite was when one of the teachers actually said this to him. Percy Jackson, our little celebrity. I don't remember that, but... Oh my god, one reference! I hate people um, comparing Percy Jackson and uh, Harry Potter, if you couldn't already tell. <laughs> so, let's look at another one. Uh, P <laughs> said, Who knew the category of young adult books aimed at boys was such a wasteland? Excuse me, this is middle grade! Middle grade! Okay, and it's for everyone, not just boys. Okay. Sohbi says, Badly written and very sexist, evil is synonymous with ugly and fat. That might be a little bit true in the books. Girls Percy doesn't like are all described as ugly and masculine, and it's made sure that the reader knows masculine traits in a girl or woman mean that she is evil. I think that's, this is a little over the top. And you would not think it's possible to turn Greek mythology into conservative American nationalism, but Rick managed even that. You should keep reading the books, because... It strays a little bit, but okay. People seem to have the idea that uh, this series is for teenagers, and it can be, but this is literally for middle grade. So stop saying it's for teenagers. <sighs> Most bricks are better literature than this. Not this person making uh, Percy Jackson the Heroes of Olympus reference without knowing. Let's check out some one star reviews for uh, The Sea of Monsters, shall we? This is from Emilija. Maybe, who knows? Uh, one and a half stars. No, one out of five stars. So boring, the series is so damn boring. Every book is written the same. I'm not going to finish the series. This book was the worst of the four I have read. And I agree, it's the least best out of the series, but every book is written the same. Doesn't that make sense for the style to be the same? And especially in a children's book, a middle grade book, doesn't it? makes sense that it's a little bit formulaic. Like, I know that you can um, have your own opinion, obviously, and you can judge something, you know, based on your own likes and dislikes, but at least know the context. This is a middle grade series meant for children. I don't understand this one. Uh, it says the sequel of The Lightning Thief. Must admit, it really is a page turner, but it's they still gave it one star, and then however, teenagers must take great care while reading such myth. I don't understand this. 
<laughs> okay, um, this is a funny one. So this person is like, okay, Percy Jackson fans, leave because you're not gonna like this. This is all negative. And they're like, oh my flipping God, all in caps. <laughs> what is wrong with this book? Like seriously, did Riordan wake up no, choke up some shit storm story and just ride it out. Like, really flipping, really. So, um, I think they liked nothing about this book. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to the next book. Okay, so this is literally the first review there is, one star review, for The Titan's Curse. I don't think there could be any more cheaper style of writing. It's not even worthy of being called an okay read. This book, in fact, the whole series so far has been crap, utter crap. There's no sense as to what the hell this author wants to write in this book, or the series for that matter. Also, uh, judging by the picture, I think this is another case of you not knowing this is children's book. Great, great. <laughs> Another person says, the only reason I continued this series is because I paid money for the first three. Actually, a very good reason I would also do that. <laughs> Another person says, and this is where I stop. Is there a new main character? Each book, each time I read this, it's almost like I'm learning about the adventures of another boy poisoning as Percy Jackson, who must have died in the first book because I don't see any evidence of him existing. Percy was considered a troublemaker in the first book, though in his case, it was very mild acts of rebellion, so I wouldn't really consider him a troublemaker, blah blah blah. So they say that he changes a lot, and I think that is called character development. Another person says, I really did not like it, it did not make sense, and the more I read it, it made me dizzy. I don't know how you wouldn't get this book, but okay. Uh, someone else says, I'm over with this series, the characters don't develop, and each book follows the same pattern, as I said, um, children's book. The writing is bleak and I was bored immediately. I cannot fathom how you would pick up a Rick Riordan book from this series and be bored because I couldn't stop laughing. And as an adult, I still can't, so. I don't get it, but okay. And the last one says, as I finished the last page, I wasn't only internally screaming, but was very much vocal to the point of disturbing my neighbors. Your poor neighbors. And over such a good book. Okay, let's let's move on to the Battle of the Labyrinth. So one thing I'm noticing is that I can see a lot of the same people commenting in all of the books and just giving them one star. Like, if you hated the first book that much, or the second book that much, or even the third book that much, why are you still reading them? Like, besides the person who was like, I, I'm reading them because I bought them with my own money, like, that I get, but everyone else, just, just stop. Why are you doing this to yourself if you don't like it at all? Like, please stop. Just just find something you like, it's, it's that easy. Okay, so Alan says, the first book was interesting, I agree. After that, every book was just a disaster by disaster. Um, this book is a really good example of that, which I, I don't get. Even worse than the first three, says Megan. And I'm wondering if- If you thought they were bad, why did you keep reading it. This person says, awkward, like 90s CGI? <laughs> what does that even mean? This person says, we have enjoyed reading 1, 2, and 3, so this should be just as good. The action started from word 1. We love reading the titles and the chapters just as a fun way to see if we can guess the adventures. But they still rated it 1 star, so... I'm confused, Beth. Why are you doing this to us? Um, then Alex says, it was kind of boring. They are literally just walking around an underground path. It wasn't a fun read. Okay. Then David says, I really don't enjoy these books. They are tripe. And my 12 year old loves them. Bleh. Imagine being a parent of a 12 year old and being forced to like read the books with them or maybe just like reading the books before they read them just to see if they're appropriate and then just like hating them so much that you go on Goodreads and you read them and you're like, this book that my 12 year old loves is <laughs> Like what an icon. And then we have one that says, but this was pointless. You could shove a few details into the next book and the readers would be absolutely fine not knowing this exists. And this being one of my favorite books in the series, I don't agree. <laughs> a lot of people are saying it was boring and I don't understand because I find this book so entertaining. <laughs> then Kalio says, how do I read this book? Please tell me. 
<laughs> so with that being said, let's move on to the final book. Okay, so literally the second one star review we get is from a guy that already commented on one of the other books with one star like, dude, my dude, what are you doing this to yourself? Just stop reading the series. But he says, oh, that a month of my life I'm never getting back but then what a useless book and an equally senseless end to a highly senseless series well no point in complaining about a bad author with a horrible writing style it's quite frankly my fault that I devoted almost a month to this hopeless series why why did you devote a month to the series dude why didn't you just stop reading it like did they make you read it are you okay who, who was forcing you my dude Then Katie says, Rick has done it. Worst series in the history of series. And why did you read the whole thing? Who is out here forcing all these poor people to read a series they clearly hate? Like, honestly, I feel bad for them. <laughs> okay, we have an interesting one here. I hold to the same statement I made in the first book. The writing was great and the characters interesting, but messing in such a way with old religion and myths is, well, dangerous? Okay. <laughs> Um, then Susan says, I waited through seas of stupid, all the while asking myself, why am I doing this to myself? I'm also asking this of you guys. Why, why do you do this to yourselves if you clearly don't like it? And then overall rating of the series, damn, what a load of Someone explain me why this is a cult series. I mean, I would try, but I don't think I would get through to any of you. Like, I am seeing so many familiar series. Why did you just read all of this? It, are these all parents that were forced to read it? God damn it. Kingo of Birds. I mean, King of Birds, not Kingo of Birds. Um, I hate Percy Jackson. Harry Potter is better and you know it. All of you. Do we know it? Do we know it, King of Birds? I don't think we do. And then Tiffany just says, What was I thinking? So, after reading all of those comments and looking at the profile pictures of each of the commenters, I can safely say that um, I think that most of those were from parents who felt the need to read the books before they allowed their children to read a middle grade series, so I don't know why people do that, but okay, you do you basically, but if you're reading this for your 12 year old child, your 10 year old child, your 8 year old child, why do you feel the need? to rate it on Goodreads as an adult, why not let the child who this book was intended for rate it? I don't know, maybe it's just to, to let other parents know that Rick Riordan is a horrible writer who writes boring books and a horribly written series. So with that, please leave a like if you like this video, comment down below which one star review was your favorite and yeah just subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell button so you get notifications every every i can't those those comments broke me and click that bell button so you get notifications every time i post another video i post twice a week so that's every monday and fridays and i guess i'll see you guys next time bye